let's talk a little bit more about a deep well cylinder. Now remember this has two inch galvanized pipe or larger and that's so we can take the piston and pull it right out of the pipe. Bring it all the way to the surface without having to pull all that drop pipe out. There's one more big advantage to this. If we drop this piston down, down, down to the bottom down in here is a check valve. And this has a tapered bottom and a leathered seal and a check ball that opens and closes. This will drop on top of that one. If I turn it a couple of turns, it catches. Now I can pop out that bottom check valve, lift this whole assembly out of the well. Now that lets me clean both check valves, but more importantly, if I have to pull this out to service it for whatever reason, when I go to pull this pipe out, all the water is going to run out the bottom. I'm not lifting the water and the pipe together. Huge difference, especially in the old days when there was no hydraulic rig around. You did this with a horse or a hand winch. So, great invention, able to pull these all out together. When you set up your deep well cylinder, you want to make sure that you've got all the packing, if there's any newspaper in here during the shipping, out of the check valve. Now this bottom check valve, you're going to drop right down in here. Remember it's got a taper to it, so it's going to seal tight. Down inside the cylinder, let it sit. I like to take a broom handle and tap it. Give it a couple of good taps down in there. And then I'm going to set my piston down in there attached to a sinker bar. You say, what's a sinker bar? Let me show you. If you're pumping water with a deep well cylinder, a great thing that really helps with your production over time is this thing, a sinker bar. Now, it's a precision piece of stainless steel. The threads are absolutely perfectly straight up and down. You attach it to your piston, and when you go to set the cylinder, you drop that sinker bar in there. Now remember, we don't want to go all the way down and hit that check valve on the bottom. We want to stay off a couple of inches. But the sinker bar now gives us weight, and more importantly, it keeps that piston going straight up and down. You don't want that piston snaking up and down and wearing one side of the cylinder or the leathers unevenly. So a sinker bar adds weight. You say, hey, I don't want any more weight in my windmill. Yes, you do. You want to be able to pull that fiberglass rod all the way down on the downstroke and get it nice and straight so you get the full travel of the piston going up and down. So don't hesitate to add a sinker bar. Makes everything last longer and helps with your productivity over time.